Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting and incredible chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game, as you can see, white is Paul Morphy with a knight handicap. A knight holds chess game and his opponent is a player with no name. This is an imaginary picture of Paul Morphy's opponent, a 19th century chess player. That is the typical outlook of the 19th century chess player. And this game was played in 1857 in the first American Chess Congress and this was one of the unofficial chess games of Morphy when he played in the first American Chess Congress. He actually played many games with lots of unknown opponents in the first American Chess Congress and thankfully this chess game was recorded. And let's check out how this game went on. Paul Morphy who is playing with the knight handicap starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, developing the bishops and sacrificing the pawn accepting c3 bishop to c5 and paul morphy castled knight to f6 d4 challenging the center exchanging the pawns bishop to b6 bishop to a3 invading the dark diagonal black can't castle so pushing the pawn black wants to castle but there is no time attacking the knight knight to e4 there is no time again defending the knight and attacking the bishop but with pushing the pawn, once again, black can't castle, opening the diagonal, once again, bishop to b5, pinning the knight. Also black is pinning the knight, and rook to c1, the pressure is on the knight, queen to d7, defending, and Morphy is leaving the knight, not defending with the queen, and allowing black to damage the pawn structure, bishop takes on f3, but then, in this position, Morphy kept his eyes on the knight, and he played, Rook takes on c6, what a move, and black castled. What happens if capturing the rook? Then this happens, losing the queen and the chess game. So let's take it back. So after this vicious attack, rook takes on c6 by Morphy. The player with no name castled from the queen side. And then e6 by Morphy, pushing the pawn. There is no time. So f takes on e6, what would you do in this position? Well, Morphy played, Rook takes on b6, and this is a discover attack to the queen. There is no time for capturing the rook, pushing the pawn. Once again, can you see the best move? Well, Morphy captured the pawn, bishop takes on c6, and b takes on c6, but then checking the kick, and black resigned. What a game, what a beautiful chess game by Paul Morphy. All of his chess games is beautiful, and this was just one of them. And let me show you the possible continuation if moving the king, then checkmate in one move, queen to b7, checkmate. And what happens if blocking with the queen, if queen to b7, then capturing the queen, checkmate. What a game by Paul Morphy, another incredible chess game, an incredible attack by the Mozart of chess. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye bye.